हरे कृष्णा बी नॉट अ पैसिव ऑब्जर्वर बी अ डिटैच ऑब्जर्वर एंड अ डिवोटेड डूअर मेनी टाइम्स दगवद गीताज टीचिंग is misunderstood to be a recipe for passivity because the bhagavad gita says be equipoise amidst passion amidst happiness and distress be indifferent to pleasure and pain be this message of uh, indifference uh, starts from right the second chapter 2.14 krishna says मात्रा स्पर्शास्तु कौन थे शीतोष्ण सुख दुख था आगम आपाय नो नित्य स्थाम से तीक्ष स्वभारत सो टॉलरेट हैपीनेस एंड डिस्ट्रेस लाइक वी टॉलरेट समर एंड विंटर एंड दिस मैसेज कीप्स कमिंग अगेन एंड अगेन इन द गीता एंड देन इन द फोर्टीन चैप्टर व्हेन कृष्णा इज टॉकिंग अबाउट ट्रांसजेंडिंग द मोड्स ही इवन से दैट वन शुड बी डिटैच उदासीन व दासीन गुणैर्यो न विचाल्यते गुणावर्तन्त्यत्येव योवतिष्ठति नेंगते सो ही सेज इन 14.23 दैट be detached and be situated uh, uh, um, observing that the modes are coming and modes are going and don't be affected by the modes so uh, when krishna talks about indifference about detachment now we see usually emotion is the is the trigger the instigation the inspiration for our action when we feel something accordingly we act so if we give up all emotion will it not lead to passivity so if we become uh, indifferent observers won't that make us uncaring and won't that make us inact- inactive but to the contrast we also see in the gita that the gita calls for action in fact assertive action in the form of uh, war specifically for arjuna who is a kshatriya the bhagavad gita tells in 11.33 that tasmat tumuttishtha yasho labhasva itva shatrun bhongshwa rajyam samruddham mayai vaite nihata purvam eva nimitta matram bhavasau me saachi it says oh arjuna therefore rise rise and attain victory and all your enemies are killed by my arrangement the beast become an instrument in fight now at the end of the bhagavad gita is also centered on action not just uh, uh, indifference or passivity in 18.73 krishna says kari arjuna tells krishna in response to his message karishe vachanam tava i will do your will and then this statement of arjuna is also vindicated confirmed by sanjay when he declares at the end of the gita that Arjuna has now raised his bow and is ready to ready for action. Itra partho dhanurdhara. And we do know at the end of the Bhagavad Gita, uh, the Kurukshetra was started and Arjuna acted. Arjuna was not passive. So now, how does this whole concept of indifference, equanimity, um, and uh, being unaffected by emotions uh, gel with? Dyna- with a dynamic action as happens at the end of the gita and as is called for in the gita also how are these two harmonizable so actually that is by understanding the nature of our situation and the purpose of our action so the nature of our situation is that we are right now caught in illusion we are souls who are misidentifying with our body and are caught up in bodily activities so uh, now our situation is something like a person watching a movie and just as a person experiences all gamut of emotions while watching the movie when the hero is being beaten the person feels it till like uh, is shaken when the person the hero starts beating the person feels delighted so similarly we identify with the body and then we experience all kinds of emotions connected with the body so the purusha so purusha prakriti stho hi bhungte prakriti jan gunan now we are our situation is that we are an illusion something like a person in the movie but our situation is different in the sense that we are actually situated we are just not just watching the movie we are acting in the movie 
in the sense that we are we are actually entangled in material nature as krishna says in 13.22 purusha prakriti stohi the soul is situated in material nature and bhungte prakriti jan gunan and is trying to enjoy the activities the products of material nature which are manifested through the three modes that is the sense objects and because of that we go through the traumas of old age disease and death and rebirth karanam guna sangosya sadasat yoni janmasu and because of this we take birth again and again in various species in material existence so now the nature of our situation is that we are not just watching illusion we are actually living in illusion so then now if, if a person understand okay this movie is simply causing me suffering and uh, we we understand simple let's say we understand okay actually overall in this world what there is is misery only so i have to get out of here so when we understand this uh, what does a person do a person can either you know turn off the power switch uh, if the movie is being watched at home or if we cannot do that then we just walks out of the theater the movie is in a public place so like that can we just do that we can't switch off the power or we can't walk out of theater immediately in the sense that we cannot just give up the material world so the way to come out of the illusion is by systematic action so within the illusion only we have to act in a way that will gradually take us out of illusion so that means uh, there has to be uh, action to come out of illusion and for that action to be possible there are two aspects to it we have to be detached doers and we have to be uh, we have to be detached observers and then we have to be devoted doers detached observers means when we look around in this world we understand that nothing in this world in itself can make me happy so we be, we are detached there are various objects that promise pleasure we become detached from them knowing that they in themselves cannot provide me any pleasure and that is the whole purpose of the gita to be indifferent to be equipoised knowing that i am spiritual and the things of this world are material so they cannot provide me any substantial uh, pleasure so let me become detached from that but after uh, but detachment again is not passivity we are detached from the uh, objects which will impel us to act in illusion and entangle us in illusion but the way out of the illusion so we don't want to go deeper into illusion but when we want to come out of illusion there has to be action for that that is based on the reality of who we are and what our real action is we are souls who are parts of krishna and our eternal constitution our eternal occupation based on our eternal constitution is to serve krishna and that is possible even within the range of illusion uh, with the, while we are in the material world we can still start serving krishna and when we serve krishna in this world by using the resources of this world in terms of the things that we have and in terms of the body that we have the mind that we have the inclinations and the talents that we have accordingly when we serve then that enables us to move from illusion towards liberation so that is how the bhagavad gita when uh, tell it tells arjuna to fight uh, and arjuna agrees to fight that is not just some a uh, call for political action or for um, for uh, for a conqueror's kind of uh, action for conquering the world no the bhagavad gita is talking about conquering illusion by supreme by serving the supreme lord who is also the lord of illusion and who can liberate us from illusion and for that purpose we act according to his will for his pleasure so that is devote be a devoted doer so the bhagavad gita uh, is not just about indifference yes we want to be indifferent about the things of this world but we want to be attached to the lord of the lord of the world and by being devoted to him uh, we can rapidly come out of this world so the recipe of the bhagavad gita is be a detached doer sorry be a detached observer not a passive observer don't get emotionally entangled in the world but then uh, after being emotionally distanced then what do we do we are concerned about krishna and we use those things of this world in the service of krishna in that sense we have come devoted doers and by becoming devoted doers we can relish the happiness of 
spirituality of pure spiritual love for krishna we can get glimpses of that in this world itself and that becomes a further impetus to come out of this world because we understand this world's pleasures are illusory and temporary and i can there is real pleasure a spiritual pleasure and i can get glimpses of it so therefore to pursue it let me devote myself to the service of krishna please him selflessly and thereby attain liberation from illusion and thereby have an eternal a uh, joyful relationship with him with krishna in his award thank you hare krishna